Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is V&A Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, it is your favorite video. Today we're going to be testing out a bunch of new or new to me drugstore slash affordable makeup. We have a bunch of new releases and a bunch of very interesting products that I'm super excited to try out with you guys, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so... You guys know how these videos go. They can tend to be a little long, so I just wanna like hop right in. I'm not gonna talk your ear off about anything that you don't need to know about. Um, except one thing, how cute is my hair? I just braided it, and so I didn't put any heat on it, and I kind of like the beachy waves. So you guys know I normally don't like trying primers and foundations at the same time, but um, I did get some primers from Hard Candy, and there was a dewy, a matte, and a color corrector. I've actually already tried the dewy, and the matte one would obviously make the foundation that we're trying matte, but I was thinking maybe if we try the color correcting one, maybe it won't actually change the foundation as much, and we can kind of just test this out and see how it looks on the skin. I do have somewhere to go after this, so hopefully everything does turn out okay. So, we're gonna be starting out with the brand new Hard Candy Color Correcting Primer. I obviously don't have that much redness, but I do have discoloration. It says that it's an all day redness reducing primer infused with salicylic acid and tea tree oil to transform the skin into a flawless smooth canvas. Oh wow, <gasps> wow, this is way more green than I thought. What does that look like? Frosting? I'm intrigued. It feels like a very lightweight type of like gel moisturizer. Why don't I do half of the face to see if it really neutralizes as much as it says that it does? I'm not gonna lie, right now my skin just looks a little green, but I guess you, I mean, you definitely can't see the redness of my cheeks. Um, I actually do look pretty green though. Hopefully this, you know, looks good under foundation, but I don't know. I feel like because it said that you can wear it with or without makeup, I think that if you wanted to wear it without makeup, you should probably go with a lighter hand, even though I didn't even put that much product on because there's definitely a green hue to my skin. Like, I can't walk out of the house like this. Um, not my favorite. Obviously, maybe I'm just not, like, the right person for this. If you have skin like me, you will look green unless you use less. But I will say, I like the way it feels. So hopefully it still works as a nice base. And hopefully the foundation covers the green. But I will say, maybe if the foundation is not the right color, maybe it'll help color correct. So the foundation that I'll be trying today, this is actually one of the products that maybe it's not the newest, but I've never tried this foundation or anything from this brand, and so I wanted to give it a shot today. Um, this is what it looks like. It is the Oma Beauty Makeup Line Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Foundation. It is described as a medium to full coverage formulated with all, oh, for olive skin. Yay! I literally, literally have olive skin, and right now I literally have olive colored skin. Long lasting, transfer proof, soft radiant natural finish. This is a skin perfecting balm that's supercharged with skincare benefits. Okay, cool. I got the shade Honey Honey T1. Ooh, I actually think I matched myself perfectly. Wow, wow, wow. I am so good at shade matching myself. I really hope that that um, primer doesn't like ruin the shade match. But right now it feels pretty lightweight. I have a feeling that it's gonna look green throughout, which I'm kind of worried about. But let's do half of the face first. Okay, if we are shade twins, it is looking like this is our shade. So right off the bat, feels nice on the skin. It's blending very quickly and it's actually looking really really pretty i do think it's oxidizing a little bit but not an insane amount this looks so pretty so pretty it's giving that natural radiant finish it definitely gave me a good medium coverage and it doesn't feel heavy at all so that is with the foundation and without i feel like the green is throwing us off but like spooky vibes i don't know I'm freaking out a little bit i really hope that we don't end up looking green because I'm going to dinner with my husband and my mother-in-law after this and I she doesn't need to see me looking green and question my makeup skills and my profession. For once in my life, I have an olive foundation and then I put green first. What was I thinking? You guys, this looks so 
freaking pretty. Like, forget the green. Just look at this foundation. It is, it just looks really nice, you guys. I'm actually like baffled. I'm, I'm really baffled right now. Right now, first impressions blended out in a GIF gave me that medium coverage, that natural luminosity, nothing too much, doesn't feel heavy, feels hydrating. If this works well with other makeup and or wears well all day, um, I'm gonna be truly impressed because, I mean, I mean, look at my skin. The next product that we have is a newer product from ColourPop and it's something that I've never tried and um, I'll give you guys a quick little side story. My mom is like such like an 11-11 girl. She literally texts the whole family at 11-11. My parents got married 11-11-11. So they love 11, okay? So I got my mom the 11-11 collection from ColourPop and I was like, well, let me pick up a couple things that I haven't tried from ColourPop and one of them was this bronzer stick. So uh, they're just called the bronze sticks. I did get the shade Rincon Point. Rincon? rank on and this is what it looks like i haven't tried it yet i've only swatched it so let's go ahead and try it out um i guess we can maybe oh no i was gonna say maybe we could like drag it on the skin but that <gasps> that just grabbed my foundation no 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 i don't have time for mistakes right now no 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 no, no. let me warm it up on the back of my hand and then maybe grab the product from here but i will say Pretty nice shade. It is a warm tone, medium tone shade. Now it's looking really, really natural, but I don't trust putting it straight on my face. Maybe I could um, grab it with the brush and then stipple it on. Okay, that actually works out way better. And I am getting that pigment now. You guys know I'm just, I always over bronze because I love it. And I'm also just trying to get rid of the green at this point. That looks really, really pretty. It's actually giving me more of like a dewy finish. Obviously we do have that foundation underneath, but it seems like it's like a nice medium pigmentation, nothing too much. Um, it is blending out fairly quickly. The only thing, my only concern is that it really didn't glide onto like the skin, but then again, it could just be the foundation, but. And the formula is very lightweight. It's not like a super thick formula. It's more of like a thinner, buildable, almost like balmy feeling formula. It was fairly inexpensive and uh, it looks really pretty. So we'll keep testing this out. I don't have a new concealer. I guess to like stay within the drugstore category for now, I'll use the brand new Koki concealer. Brand new, this is how much I like it. So this is another shade, but this is what it usually looks like. It's the Koki Cosmetics Double Time Full Cover Concealer. Um, I'm using the shade Medium Beige. This is like shape tape, except not super drying. And of course at a drugstore price, I do have an affiliate coupon code if you are interested, but I freaking love this concealer. I know what you're thinking. This is way more concealer than you usually put on. And you're correct about that, it is. Because again, I am trying to neutralize this green primer. I guess we can come to the conclusion that that primer as of right now is just way too green. Um, if you still wanna try it out, maybe just use way less product than I did because um, it's really showing through and I don't know, it just, it claims that you can use it without makeup, but unless you have like super, super red skin, or you just use way less. This is from BK Beauty, it's a 113. Um, again, this concealer is so full coverage and it's absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, so I am feeling a lot better about my makeup right now. Um, for blush, I promised you guys that we would come back to this product because I feel like we didn't try it out in the best way possible. This is brand new from Ulta Beauty. So this is their new um, Too Cheeky for Lips and Cheeks um, cream blush in the shade Mood. And we're just gonna put this all over the cheeks. And again, I'm going to stamp it on. That is really pretty. You guys know I don't really like to do too much luminosity, um, but I do like sometimes using like a luminous cream blush because even though I'm gonna set this with powder, I do sometimes like the glow coming through um, and that gives you more of like a natural glow rather than like adding highlight. This is really pretty. It's more of like a medium pigmentation. So as you guys can see, I'm like definitely building it up. You can probably add this onto your cheeks, but I'm not, I can't risk that right now. But I actually am really liking the shade. It's more of like a mid 
tone, like a medium tone, like mauve shade and it's giving me a really beautiful sheen a lot of you guys told me that i would like this so you guys were right this is beautiful i understand so i don't have a new powder so i will powder off camera but i do have a loose bronzer so we will try that on camera it's brand new and i'm like terrified but excited at the same time so i'm gonna set my face and I'll be right back. I did go ahead and use the number seven lift and illuminate powder in light and see how that sheen is still coming through from the blush. Um, really, really pretty. So far, everything is looking really nice. For bronzer, I, I'm, like I said, I'm excited and terrified at the same time. Um, I got this on Ulta Beauty. It is brand new from CoverGirl. Seems more like a summer product. I'm surprised this is coming out just now, but like, uh, why not? Um, it is called the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Radiant Loose Powder Bronzer. I did get the shade uh, Golden Hour, and it is talc free. Woo! Ultra lightweight, silky blendable formula with all over warmth with soft radiant finish. I'm gonna be so radiant today. Again, not my favorite, but like, it's okay. Um, it does say to buff the face in circular motions where the sun hits. <sighs> I'm just terrified. I guess I'm gonna put some on here. And let's start slow. Let's start slow and see if we can build it up. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna start really, really small. So I'll grab some like this and like dust off a lot of the excess. <laughs> and then circular motions. Or padding. I think padding is probably better. Oh, that's actually really pretty, and it's not as dark as like it seems. Okay, all right, all right. We're getting comfortable. So let's dust off the excess again. And to be honest, I think padding and then buffing is better. I'm trying to use it how I would use like a bare minerals bronzer like a loose bronzer or like a foundation a powder foundation do you think it's coming off a little bit darker on my forehead because i think i forgot to powder my forehead so we're just going on to like wet foundation but you guys this is actually not only like easier than i thought it would be to use but this actually looks really really pretty and it's giving me a glow that is like manageable keep in mind that we do have a <laughs> glowy foundation as well as a glowy blush but the glow that it's giving me everywhere else it's like doable for me i actually think this is so pretty again i wish it would have brought this out um in the summer why don't we try to bronze the neck to see if we can use this almost like as a like a body bronzer slash like illuminator okay i just overdid it a little bit a lot of it Oh my god, did y'all hear the thunder? Thunder! Hear the thunder! Put this all over. I mean, my neck is definitely taking color. I do have skincare on my neck, so hopefully it doesn't get patchy, but... Um, let's see. Yeah, see, on my bare skin, it's definitely bronzing, and it's a little luminous, but it's really not that shimmery. I think my face just looks very luminous, but this seems like it's giving a nice natural glow i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but i will say this is actually such a nice product this looks gorgeous i'm loving it i'm loving it so far mm -mm -mm. we have such a stunning eyeshadow palette to try out today i'm gonna add a little bit of blush fix my eyebrows and we can start out on the ice i just added my it cosmetics blush in naturally pretty and then i just added a little bit of brow powder let's get into this brand new palette that is actually out today so you guys know how much I love Alter Ego, and they came out with a new palette, and this palette is speaking to me. It's called the Mirage Palette, and let me just look at this. So as you guys can see, we got a mixture of a lot of things. We got some beautiful shades, and then over here we have a black and a brown cream. The shade Sirocco is interesting. This middle is kind of like a gel. Um... So it's like when you like rub it together, it becomes like almost like a, like what is this? Like a glossy jelly type of shadow and it's in insane. Look, what? Look at that. Um, this shade, it looks kind of like a tie-dye pinky purple and then this just looks stunning. I kind of want to play maybe with like these type of shades. So I'm just going to um, put that 
on the crease. Oh wow, that is very pigmented. Um, actually, I'm gonna go to clay instead because um, that's a little bit darker than I was hoping for. I just want like a wash of color. So I'm just gonna put this all over the crease. I don't even know what kind of look I'm doing. All right, so far so good. I am looking straight at that shade called Tomb. I'm gonna grab like a smaller brush and we're gonna start packing that in the outer corner and a little bit under the crease. And I am winging it out a little bit. I am loving these tones. Um, maybe we can go in with like a smaller brush. I don't wanna go too, too dark because I'm kinda liking like the ethereal looking vibe. Um, I'm gonna grab Endless and just do a little bit on the outer corner, maybe like, maybe like kind of winged out like this a little bit just to add some darkness and also a little bit more of like a lift and i'm just gonna go back and forth with this shade and tomb and just kind of diffuse it a little bit again i don't know if, how dark i want to go but this is looking so pretty um i am loving these colors right now and i'm going in with the lightest hand uh everything is working out so beautifully right now i'm like stuck between odyssey and sirocco i think we're just going to use both because i can't help myself so a little bit of odyssey like right in the center, like that. Just with my finger, I don't wanna get it wet because I don't want it to be too metallic. I just want that little bit of like pinky purple shimmer. I am sorry, I need to do my nails really, really badly. I'm gonna go with my pinky and use Sirocco, but I'm gonna like mix the creaminess and then the shade. <sighs> Look at that, it looks like, like paint. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner wow like what what is this this is stunning and when i'm telling you again i'm going with the lightest hand and then back with my other finger with odyssey i'm just gonna kind of like blend this out together so it's more of like a gradient that looks stunning did i mention that this palette is 24 dollars okay i'm gonna leave it at this for right now because it looks like a sunrise um let's go ahead and do the lower lash line really quickly i'm gonna grab the shade wonder and just buff that out on the lower lash line and then we will grab a mixture of tomb and endless on the outer corner i just realized i don't have an inner corner highlight that i would like so i'm just not going to well maybe i could just use sirocco a little bit on the inner corner it's a little bit dark but i'll put a like a lighter highlighter on top of that i want to kind of play around real quickly with these cream shades oh my god what the heck these are so pigmented okay um yeah as you guys can see that bottom one is more of like a plum shade that's stunning we're gonna use that i'm gonna grab a flat brush and i'm gonna grab the shade crypt which is the plummy shade and i'm just going to stamp my lash line and use this as our eyeliner i'm gonna set it with the shade endless which i guess it's gonna make it a little bit more purpley and then i kind of want to maybe smudge just a little bit like the tiniest bit just a little bit right here just to give myself a little bit of a more lifted look so i'm gonna grab some and add the tiniest bit and I'm just going to smudge a little bit out in this outer corner so impressed with this eyeshadow palette are you kidding me I'm wearing this to go eat sushi tonight I love it um so far 10 out of 10 this is stunning as you guys can see I mean it speaks for itself it's available now it's $24 I do have an affiliate code if you guys are interested it is right here if you guys want to save some money you don't have to use it do whatever you want but just know that I am super impressed with this my shadow palette good job alter ego um, I'm gonna quickly do some lashes because I think you guys know I don't like doing lashes but I think it deserves lashes they're half lashes from Lily lashes they're the butterfly eyes in the style sassy i have them with glue right now so i'm gonna pop them on and i'll be right back i'm about to flutter away i have not worn fake lashes in a while i am loving this look okay i do have a brand new morphe product which is called the lip glass why don't we try this on real quick and then um we'll get to the mm, what you probably want to see i know what you want to see it kind of reminds me of the tower 28 glosses and so i wanted to test this out drip glass glazed and it's a high shine gloss and i got the shade shatterproof mauve they do have a couple nude shades but i thought this looked really pretty so let's just try it on on bare lips Ooh, 
Okay, so we do have pretty good pigmentation. I did not expect it to be this pigmented. It smells really good. It kind of smells like warm cookies. And this formula feels a lot like a Tower 28. Oh my gosh. It's not sticky at all. And it's actually giving my lips such a nice little effect. Don't you guys think? Um, okay. That is so pretty, you guys. Um, if you've been looking for something kind of like the Tower 28, I mean, we can definitely put them side to side in a dupes video. But right now, just from feeling it and looking at it, it looks very, very similar. Feels similar, it's not sticky, and it's just such a pretty, I just love like a jelly look on like nails or lips, and that's so pretty. I definitely think you can get away with just wearing this without makeup. I know what you guys are here for, probably. You guys are here for the e.l.f. collab. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you already saw it days ago. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys. But um, I don't forget about my YouTube fam, so I do want to show it to you guys. So this is the brand new collection with Elf and Jennifer Coolidge. This is called Dirty Pillows. They are sold out already. I did buy this with my own money, but you can actually get notified for the restock. So it's not like gone forever. This is what it looks like, guys. This is not the PR package. Like, I don't know if there even is a PR package, but just know that I just bought this with my own money. This is what you would get if you bought it. Like, look at this. So it, it oh my God, where's the lip liner? Did I lose a lip liner? You guys, I literally just got on the floor, like on my hands and knees trying to find it, and I found it because I don't want to do you dirty like that. And you do get, I believe it was $25, and you get a lip liner, a plumping lip gloss, a lipstick, and a really cute mirror. The mirror does come in a little pouch, which is super nice, and it is a magnified mirror as you guys can see i know it's kind of hard to see and i already have my fingers on it it does say elf x jennifer coolidge and on the back it says the lips are the mirror to the soul i think this is a beautiful mirror it's just one lip kit one shade the uh, lip liner is called phil frontal phil frontal and um it is a pencil which is so funny because elf always comes out with like retractable pencils for themselves but when they do like collections they do the pencil and the pencil is always better the pencil is really nice uh it's definitely like a dusty mauve shade obviously it looks different on everyone so on my medium skin tone it definitely looks like a cool toned like i said like a dusty gray type of mauve I do like it, but you guys know I usually go a little bit darker with my lip liners and a little bit more brown, but it definitely works. It's just personal preference. What I don't love about the lip liner, I mean, it is pigmented and creamy and beautiful, but it is more of like a satin finish. As you guys can see, I wish it was more of a matte finish because if you're going to overline like me, it's just, it looks a little bit more like obvious. But if you don't mind that, then you might really like it because it is pigmented and creamy and I've already used it like four times. And then the lipstick is the e.l.f. O-Face formula. The packaging is absolutely beautiful and it does have uh, the name right on the bullet. It's called the Dirty Pillows Lipstick and it is just stunning. I mean, truly looks super luxe and high end. A peachy type of lipstick. Again, not my go-to, but I do think it's really pretty and the satin formula is nice. Um, these lipsticks are really good quality, so I'm going to put that in the middle. See how it's just a little bit too light for me? If you are a little bit lighter than me, I think this is going to look stunning on you. Or even if you like something like this, then it's going to look stunning. I just think personal preference, this is just a little too muted for me, but the formulas are nice. The lip gloss is stunning. This is what it looks like. It's in the shade Swollen, and it is a beautiful, like, baby pink with the tiniest, like, micro glitter. You can't really tell, but um, it is really pretty. Um, they say it's like a super plumping gloss. I don't agree with the super plumping, but I do think that the formula is really nice, and it smells really, really good. So this is what that looks like. I mean, this is definitely a Jennifer Coolidge lip combo so just remember if you don't mind that the lip liner is satin not matte but it is creamy and pigmented the lipstick is creamy and pigmented and satin the lip gloss is nice it's not sticky it's beautiful it's just not like super plumping but it is really pretty and then the mirror is gorgeous so keep that in mind when you are purchasing so i'm gonna grab a little bit of this drip glass and i'm just gonna add this so that it just kind of you know goes more with like the purple tones 
of our eyeshadow. Alrighty guys, and that is the full makeup. I am super happy with how this video went. You guys know sometimes these videos can go completely different. I am very happy with everything. Right now, what's sticking out to me the most is the foundation, the bronzer, and the eyeshadow. I honestly, everything that I tried is really nice. So everything worked out perfectly, but the standout products are definitely foundation, bronzer, and eyeshadow. I am loving it. I'm definitely going to try this foundation again without so many like luminous products, but I do think it looks gorgeous. I'm super happy. I am super happy. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I will link everything down below, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!